Stuart Alamo City Cello, and this is one of the more vexing passages from Sasson's first cello concerto. It's the end of the second page leading into the third page, or letter C to about letter D before letter D. So um, I wanted to break this down into sections for you and uh, play from this video, we'll cover from C to about the uh, the first couple three measures of the next lot of the next page so I want to break this down so it hopefully it'll help other cellists that are learn just learning this concerto so um the very first chord is first finger D third finger B natural and then second finger F natural so I think of it this way first finger you're in fourth position so first finger on one the next string is two excuse me three and the top is two and the rhythmic pattern that you'll be using with the bow is this uh, try that with me one two ready play again so that happens two times in a row you'll see uh, the pattern is repeated now let's take a look at the um, piano section this is the last measure of the uh, second page the last measure um, and it, it the chord here is one three three so very similar to the one we learned before, but this is one, three, three, and you'll have to flatten your third finger, I hope you can see this, in order to bar the D and the A string. So it's, and I go ahead and keep my, my second finger on the A string, because later on I'll need it there. Uh, the next chord after that is uh, one, three, four, so first, it's all in fourth position. One, three, four, and it's... The top of the next page is everything is the same except you'll extend up for a G sharp here. So it'll sound like this. Then you're back to a G natural. Then and again. And the, 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 the next chord in the passage is a hyper-extended fourth finger. Now, be very careful about your fourth finger and do not injure, do not break your fingers. <laughs> it's very important, especially the pinky. The pinky is easily broken, and so be careful with it. So I'm going to give you a trick to help you make that extension where it doesn't all rely just on extending the pinky. Take a look at the tilt of my hand here. So I'm tilting forward this way with my forearm in order to reach that fourth finger. So let me show you going from Give that a practice at home. So you're starting off one, three, four, and then you're making a hyper extension to A. And you're doing so through this rocking motion. Let's try that. If you're looking at the music, this is the second measure of the second line. Don't over practice that. Be very careful with it. I'd like to put all the pieces together now. Let's go back to the measure after C and play the whole that whole section that we've so far we've looked at. One, two, ready, C. One, two, ready, play. turn your hand like that in order to get it. Can we do that much over again? Let's try it again. Measure after C. One, two, ready, play. One, two, ready, 
melody play. Good. Now that's the end of this video. I'm going to make another one, leaving, picking up right where we left off. So hopefully this is helpful for young players. Uh, I wish I had had this resource of being able to see uh, this when I was younger. My teachers had to teach it to me, so hopefully this is helpful. All right, all the best. Bye-bye.